into uh, telling the story about the mom, I was really moved. And I decided, and that reminded me of a really uh, memorable story of mine, which changed me a lot. And so, uh, as you all know, I, I come from a family which has four children, four daughters. Uh, it's really strange, strange nowadays for that, and I'm the oldest. So uh, uh, many people think that I have lots of responsibilities of taking care of my uh, term, uh, my uh, sisters, or helping my parents with the housework. But uh, it's not true. I, I totally, I don't have to do a lot at, at home. Uh, when I arrive home. I have my dinner and my lunch cooked by my mom and the only thing I, I have to do is take care of my two little sisters who are four and six years old in order. But um, that evening I came home really stressful because of the test at school and I didn't want to do anything. So I stayed in my room and uh, uh, ignoring my my mom's going home, and when she got home, she said, Lee, come here and uh, uh, wash, your, wash your sister's hair. It's really dirty because uh, she's real, she played a lot at her kindergarten. And I, I thought it, but I tried to ignore. And uh, she repeated that for several times. And, but, uh, like, I would say that I will, I'm really stubborn and I, if I don't like this, I won't do this. So I stay still in a, a bedroom and uh, five minutes later, I heard my mom with angry voice and uh, like, come here, come here, come here, don't you listen to me? And I heard her footstep on the upstairs, right? towards my room and she came into our room with a really angry face and her hand was in the in the air going to slap my face and I, I was trying to avoid and but suddenly I heard I heard some scream like uh it's really painful and uh, whenever I think about it my heart seems to broke and when I, I open my eye, I see my mom laying in the lying the lying in the ground on the ground with her, her arms really uh, painfully, and I don't know anything. I don't understand anything. I just I just sit there and I try to ask her what happened, what happened to you, but she she just can't re reply and. She just, she just cried and uh, I called my dad so uh, when waiting for him to come back to come back I, I used some kind of medicine to, to cover her arm and and I I just sit, sit there I just can't say anything to her uh, so I I kept I kept silent for the whole evening. Uh, just like I, um, it's really I I find it's really hard to express our emotions to my parents, especially my mom, because we don't usually spend time together. So uh, uh, that evening I cooked the dinner. But I didn't dare to say anything to her. But then I, I asked my 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 uh, younger sister to come upstairs and ask her if he, if she wanted some food. And uh, my sister, who was really small, about four years old, she said, "You yourself come to her." And that was that that moment. I was really, you know, I just. I just moved to tears and I, I came to the door of her room and I, I knocked.
knock, and then they, I, I go inside, I went inside uh, towards her and asked her, but she didn't reply. So I lie next to her and hug her. That was the tightest hug I have. I had given for her, given to her, and I cried and I said sorry, sorry. She she kept silence and just like uh, do something to encourage me, and that I feel really disappointed for myself and my self image. Uh, after that, she didn't. Talk about her pain or why he was why she was hurt, but and uh, she didn't blame me anything. Uh, but I uh, since that I I have tried my best to do what what I can to to uh, express my feelings, express my love for who love me unconditionally. So. And whenever I am stuck and in hard situation, the only thing that I remember is that your maturity, maturity must be faster than the speed of your, your, your than, uh, than faster than the speed of the time. Although, or otherwise your parents can see you grow up and can see you express in your feelings with them. So <laughs> oh I just I just don't know how to say uh, I just wanna say thank you for listening I, and mommy if you are watching this video I just wanna say I love you. I never say I love you to you but this is the first time and thanks for listening. Thank <laughs> you.